Chiana Tankers. This is Rubby Leto playing World of Tanks. Today we're on Arctic region. It's a map that I really like. I'm driving my Panzer 4H. Fitted with the derp gun. The AP rounds in this tank are completely worthless, so I only have HE and premium heat with me. The heat shells have a penetration of 104 and a damage of 350. The high explosives have a penetration of only 53, but it also does splash damage and should I penetrate a shot fully, that's 410 damage done. In tier 5, think about that. This is not a very fast tank and it has very little armor, so you have to think about where you take it. Top speed is only 40, not even faster than many heavy tanks, and its strongest armor. Funnily enough, has the commander's hatch. Anyway, on to the battle. We're top tier, but so are two thirds of the teams. I usually go to the E4 area, but today I'm gonna try another favorite spot that is not as aggressive. I try not to put too much trust in teammates, and even less so when it's a low tier game. Oh great, where the hell is he going? Blimey idiot, he just killed himself. Why even bother with the game if you're gonna do that? First target, let's see if we can put a shot in. As you can see, the shell time and trajectory is a bit different on derp guns, so you have to be more careful with the shots. I'm not gonna bother yet with the reds behind me, I got cover from them. Unless, of course, they show themselves to me like this. First target down. Second target down. This is going well, but we're still already down a tank. This T-14 isn't looking at me. I'm gonna track him and let my teammates get a nice opportunity to shoot him. It feels like we're killing tanks to the left and right now, and still we're down two tanks. What the hell is going on? Focus on this area. A camping T1 heavy. Can I get a shot in? No. My aim time is too long and he disappeared behind cover. Leave the target. Nice two shots there on the SU-85. And this tracking idiot that can't turn off their goddamn microphone when they're dead. Don't be like that, people. Turn off your mics and Kinex if you're not gonna contribute to the game. I'm gonna mute the bastard as soon as I get the time. Right 
Okay, we're down three tanks and things and looking very good. What I think about most in these situations is to make everything I can to take on as few tanks as possible at a time. Preferably only one at a time. So I'm hiding myself so only the Matilda can see me. And here comes the T-67. Now I'm backing up so the Matilda no longer have a shot of me, but only the T-67. The T-67 has apparent aiming issues. Luckily, you're dead, mate. Now we're one versus six. First time gonna take this Matilda out. And here comes another T-67. Yeah, that's it. There was no way I would succeed here against six tanks. Over 2000 damage with 5 kills and over 500 assist damage. We got the high caliber medal for doing the most damage on the battlefield and we were also awarded the ace tanker medal for having the top 1% result in this tank for the last few weeks. This despite it was a loss, but it was the high caliber medal that compensated us for the loss. And just look at that team, we have 6 zeros, of which one killed himself right off the bat. And none of our team members actually did what they're supposed to. Well. I got my ace tanker so I'm still a bit happy. You can't win them all. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This is Rubalito signing off.